gentlemen. The area is a little bit noisy, so I'll, I'll try my best to talk so you all can hear me. Because I believe because we're on the main, it's going to be a little bit challenging with the sound. But um, let me first um, introduce myself. The name is Michael Thompson. I was asked to oversee this funeral service today for the late Michael Boyd. And we know that um, death is not something that none of us like to experience, like to deal with. But it's a part that all of us will have to tread one day. All of us will have to deal with one day. It, it is not the best of experiences, but it is a part of life that we all have to deal with. So I want to um, encourage everybody to stay strong and to continue to trust the Lord. Our opening hymn, our opening hymn is Great is thy faithfulness. How great thou art. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world I have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe is That God is son not spirit sent him to die. I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sins. Then sings my soul. My God, oh great the what? Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great the what? How great the what? The first lesson, and it is going to be read by you, are Selena? Selena. It is going to be read by Selena. Go ahead, Selena. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, who would have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? 
and if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am. That's it, Selena. What, Selena? Amen. Akima. All right. Um, do we have Akima ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. You have to speak a little louder. You're so them can't hear. So you turn the phone today. Okay. Um, I'm going to read the, the last one. There is a time for every thing and a season for every activity. A time to be born and a time to, a time to die. A time to plan and a time to un, un, uproot. I can read it. I read it. There's a time. There's a time for everything and a season for everything. Did the best half to be born a time to die. A time to fly. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Done. Yeah, that's it. Thank All right, you. thank you very much, um, Akima. Thank you very much for your contribution. Now, the next items we have on the program is um, tribute. And I don't know if all these persons are here. I see we have um, tribute from Nicholas Brown. Is Nicholas here? Nicholas Brown, tribute from Nicholas. Okay, Brown. Where's Nicholas Brown? All right, go ahead, sir, Nicholas. Um, everyone, good afternoon, colleagues. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is indeed an honor for me to eulogize my cousin. And it is not easy to eulogize somebody when they have passed but we must treasure those fond memories that we have. And indeed, we did have some fond memories with Copper. And I'm going to be reading this eulogy on behalf of his daughter, who is the chief scribe behind him, and there is Leon. So I'm going to be representing her today. So some of the things that is going to be said will be said from her perspective. A man of few words full of knowledge and serious about making money. Oh, yeah. That was copper. That's my dad, a provider who was big on making sure that his children knew he loved them, even when he didn't have it to give them. Michael George Boyd, also known as Mikey, copper, copper up, and general, a true man. You will be missed beyond the measures. Born at Industrial Paris to parents Winifred Ferron and Honoral Boyd on the 30th of January 1959. His brother to Evadne Boyd, Diane Palmer, Rupert Palmer, Fitzroy Taylor, Kingsley Boyd and Andrew Palmer. His father to Sheldon Boyd, Tamara Boyd, Michael Boyd, Leonie Boyd and Selena Boyd. His grandfather, partner, uncle, and friends to many. Your memory lives on. He often spoke about his years growing up in St. Mary, especially with his cousin Diane and two other cousins who were like brothers and sisters to him. The tough love from Auntie Olive and the many life lessons learned before pursuing life in Kingston with his mom and families were instrumental in his growing up. My dad, 
would describe his life as hard, but no doubt wanted life to be as easy as possible for his children. He would never allow anyone to take them or to discipline them. Growing up, listening to Pontus reggae songs and the smell and thought of the smoke from his chalice was a signature that he was at home. So to see him give up smoking in his 50s was such a big step for him. A sign that it's never too late to change your life. He loved this shop on Oxford Street and many of us can attest. I used to enjoy those items too when I would go and visit Kapwa on Oxford Street. And you could be sure to find him here. Never stray. And when you would have seen Kappa not at his shop in Oxford Street, you know that Kappa would not have been well. Because had he been well, you can go there and you would see him smoking that chalice, making up some kind of herbs, or providing some medicinal healing for somebody who is suffering. Those who knew him well would know he was big on herbal remedies. Finding the solution to any kind of ailment, and showing off about his latest discovery. A man of talent. I wish he got to explore more of them. And I'm just going to recount a, a, a memory of Kappa that I had when he was going to, he was looking after his mother's foot. And he decided to use this particular home remedy. But I mean, it was so, it's the first I saw Miss Winnie cried after Kappa applied the, the remedy. But eventually, our foot became better. So I guess, to some extent, the remedy worked. Raps had such a community spirit. He loved to see others do well. He liked giving to others. That's why he was so well loved. There are no words. You were more than just a man to me. You were a father, a teacher, my inspiration, everything. I have to be grateful that you were in my life. Thank you for everything. Sorry I couldn't be here. I should be here to help you, to plan this day, and to help carry you today. It's, miss, it's messed up to think about hope. To think about how Father God guides you through until we meet again. May your soul rest in peace and may thy perpetual shine on you. You are a great man to one and all. To everyone who knows you, knows this. You strive to make sure everyone was okay. If you cook one pot of food, everyone was eating. Nothing beats that. Memories, love and joy that me, my mommy, and Leone share. Today, it's sad to think you are being buried. Take care of yourself. We will take care of ourselves as you help us you. see you, you see it, and know the trials and tribulations have been through. Father God, bless my father's soul, and take him across the heaven. Only you alone can do it. In your name I pray. Guide and protect Kaparov's soul on the long journey across heaven, Father. I love you until the end of time, my father, Papa, and nothing will ever change that. A lot of things you never got to see, and I never got to show you. Now you see all. A lot of people will say, this or that. Funny, because I always called you Mikey, because you were my father, but also my friend. You were never upset about, this, about that thought, that it was why I loved you. I give all thanks and praise to you because without you, I wouldn't even have breath. Guidance on the journey. Blessed mind. Now, thank you all for taking the time to come and pay your respect and support to the family and to say your last goodbye to a man that was truly loved, an asset to the community, even though very much to himself, he still found room to include others. May his soul rest in peace and may light supernal continue to shine upon him. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir, for such um, powerful and interesting words. 
and um, just listening to how things flow, you can you can you can know when a story is made up, right? When you hear how the things flow, you realize that what it is what is said is so I was gonna say in a Jamaican term, and it's going to have made up story, right? So Jamaican way to and I. Now we're going to go over the I'm just going to follow some of the words that I heard. I can come right earlier on. I'm going to bring up the second of her. Come on, then. And that is what we do. Everything that we do. Have a time to yeah. whether we want yeah. to do it or not. Everything that we do, it has a time to it. So because it has a time to it, it then means that, that every opportunity that we get to do the things that are right, it is important for us to do it and to do it now. Because um, we will never have the opportunity to do it again, right? So my encouragement to all of us this evening or this afternoon as family members and friends is to make the best of the time and the season because tomorrow is just a possibility. And I find that some of us, some of us try to do a little catching up when we realize that we did not do some things right and sometimes we don't even catch up because what we're trying to do is that so some of the things that we wanted the person ends up passing on before we do it and they will feel bad and say look how many plan for do this and look how many did I got to do this and look how many did I got to do that and it never happened so my encouragement to us is to make the best of now because tomorrow is just a Saturday Amen. God bless you all. I encourage you all to stay safe and to stay strong. Now what we're going to do, I'm assuming that some person didn't get to view the body. So we're going to have maybe another two minutes viewing or so before we actually move forward. And it will be hard for person to be people. Yeah. 
I'm going to go to the house. Thank you. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the sea waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And I rod and I stop, they come for me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For as much as we can see the Lord God Almighty to take from this life our dear brother, we now commit his mortal remains to the earth from which he came. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All right, I'm going to pray a little prayer before we proceed. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love, your compassion, your many blessings that are so undeserving. We ask for continued strength and comfort upon this family who are grieving. May you continue to strengthen, to guide, to protect, to keep your hands on them. And we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you all. Continue to stay safe and to stay strong. Amen.